Hey everybody. Oh, welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I wanted to start my intro with my old intro. I wanted to start this video with my old intro is what I meant to say. I'm wearing my old merch, might as well. What's up everybody? I am ending the last video of the year with, it's become a tradition now, where I dis discuss the predictions I made in the previous year about this last year and then I predict more things for next year and I just always get everything wrong. So that's just what we're gonna do. Um, I hope you enjoy this type of video. If not, I apologize and if so, Woohoo! The comments on the last video were uh, talking about this. People wanted me to do it. Just because it's a little tradition now, and people like traditions. So let's do this, shall we? Ready? Let's begin. All right, we're going over the predictions I made last year, which I got, I think I got like two, three things right. I first said Biden's first year of presidency will be the most boring thing in the world. That was pretty correct. <laughs> No one will wear skinny jeans anymore. I feel like that is pretty true. I felt like they weren't the main fashion statement. I felt like baggy jeans were definitely more in, um, like high-waisted baggy, like a classic fit, not a skinny fit was more of the thing. So I'm gonna say I was right on that one. I said YouTube will die out. It didn't, but n I, well, uh, then I went on to say like, no one will talk about YouTubers anymore. They're only gonna talk about like TikTokers. And I think that's true. I think that was pretty true. Obviously YouTube still exists. People make money on YouTube. I'm clearly on YouTube right now and you're on YouTube right now. Hello, we're here. It's definitely not like the hit platform though. The hit platform is TikTok. So YouTube is definitely in the dying out phase. I predict that's going to continue unless they make something drastic happen. They try YouTube shorts, but like, have you ever watched one? Cause I certainly haven't. What do people watch on YouTube now? Cause YouTube is where content creators can make a lot of money. TikTok and Instagram, the money exists, but it's not as much as YouTube, but more people want to watch. TikTok and Instagram stuff. I don't, I can't predict what's gonna happen. I just know something's gotta change for YouTube to get going again and be like the star thing. Cause right now it's definitely TikTok. I said the Lakers won't win. I think that was right. No, they won in 2020. They didn't win into 2021. I think I was right. I said Ariana Grande would break off her engagement. Ah, I was so rude. They did not. I was very wrong. I said elevated loungewear will be the new fashion because people realize that being comfortable is better than wearing extremely uncomfortable things. I think that's kind of true. People wear joggers and sweatpants and stuff and it can look nice, but when people are still dressing up really nice, they don't wear it. No, I don't think I was right with that one, but we definitely don't look down upon like sweatpants as much anymore. I said sweater vests will make a comeback. And in the lesbian community, I think that they did. Not as big a comeback as I thought. Maybe I was just a little premature. Maybe it's this, this coming year. Mm, I saw Argyle came back a little bit. I went to Paxson a few times and I was like, why am I surrounded with Argyle? Argyle sweater vest. Think maybe next year, but that didn't happen last year. I said Instagram will die out too. I would thought everything was just gonna die out. Instagram weirdly didn't, but it's definitely not what it used to be. But that, no, it didn't die out at all. It was very wrong. I said one person would die from the vaccine and that would cause a lot of people not to get it. Yes. That sadly has happened. There's no joke to be made there. Lots of companies will cut back working in offices once they can. And I think this is true. I mean, I know some people have worked in offices and they're like, yeah, a lot of stuff we do remote and we only go in. But I, when I said that, I thought COVID would be done in 2021. I thought COVID was over. The next thing I said that was COVID will realistically be over by July or worst case over by December. But we're in the middle of a new outbreak. We have a new strain cause it mutated and now we're all about to go back to lockdown except the CDC made really weird rules the other day. So I was, I thought I was being a realist and then a pessimist when I said December. Real optimistic of me. <laughs> oh, I thought once the vaccine was out, it was all gonna go away. Didn't happen. Did not happen. So that sucks. But I know a lot of people don't work, always work in offices. They definitely go in person, but a lot of times they do stuff um, at home, which is I think great. But I was thinking it was like when COVID was over, that's how it was gonna stay. But I know that's mm -hmm, okay. Um, and then I said classroom settings would change. They didn't, not at all. And then I said, someone will try and sue a TikToker for a hack gone wrong. Like the TikToker told him to do this hack this certain way, the person did it and it like messed them up or messed something up and they would try and sue the TikToker. D that didn't happen that I know of. So that's actually good. That's great. I feel like I was like a good 40% right, maybe 30% right. I'm clearly not a psychic. And with that being said, let me predict what will happen in 2022. 
I'm saying this because I just saw Spider-Man. Tom Holland and Zendaya will break up just because they finally announced that they're dating and that might mess things up now that the world officially knows. So let's hope they don't because they're both very nice, beautiful people. I haven't heard anything negative about either of them and great people deserve great people. My laundry is singing me a song right now. I don't want to hear it. Snapchat will make a comeback. Ah! <laughs> I'm scared. Sorry. I get it. So, oh, sorry. My girlfriend came in and somehow it scared the crap out of me. She, she left. She went to run errands. And her coming in, I don't understand why I just got so scared. Okay, anyway, Snapchat will make a comeback. I know people still use it, but not to the extent that it once was. And I think somehow it's going to make a comeback. Since it hasn't fully died yet, so, something's making it hang on. I say COVID won't end. I think that just more and more strains will come out. They'll get more spreadable, but less hurtful to the body, which... I mean, and then it might just die off and end up, no, it's not gonna die off. It's just gonna end up being more like a colder flu and people won't be so stressed about it, but they should be because it has like neurological issues with it. Like it can mess up your brain. Like people think that they're tasting dog poop when they eat food. Anyway, so I don't think COVID's going away. I'm just gonna, let's, I thought I was being a realist or pessimist last time. This time around, it's just not going anywhere. Let's just not, it's not. Uh, unibrows, they're gonna be in to the point where people will draw them on. There's, it's unibrows people, bushy eyebrows. I, I, bushy eyeballs. Bushy eyebrows came back. It's time for the unibrow. I don't think it was ever in. It's gonna be in. Let's do it. Toe rings. You're gonna start seeing them. I don't know why I always predict someone's gonna sue somebody, but why not? I think one social media will sue another social media. Don't know how, but it's gonna happen. Orange will be the new color. I'm not happy about it either. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. And maybe those, uh, what are those? Like, it's like an aqua color jewelry. This type of jewelry. I think that will also be in. Just saying. Chain wallets. This was big in the late 90s. It's when you have a chain connected from your pocket to your wallet. Just chains, chains in general. We're gonna have chains connecting things to other things on our bodies. Chains. Guy is just wearing like board shorts as clothes. It's kind of already happened. It's always happened, like just some guys who don't care, but it'll be more like a style. Like everyone will always look like they're dressed to go to the beach and not like the long kind, not, not these. I'm talking like shorter, more attractive ones. I also have noticed that we have just been taking a lot of styles from the 90s. So I'm gonna say like these G-Shock watches definitely will be in. And music wise, a moment of heavy metal. It's not gonna overtake the and change all of our music tastes, but I'm gonna say, heavy metal for some reason. It's just like maybe TikTok finds a song and then people start listening to it and it gets in their head. But just for a moment, just for a moment, heavy metal. You're gonna see some preppy girls be listening to some heavy metal. During the spring and summer, outdoor offices. You're just gonna see like desks outside in yards. That's all. And then my last prediction is NASA's gonna discover something. Don't know what it is, but they're gonna discover something that's like, oh, like everyone's, it's gonna be like a headline. Like, ooh, everyone's gonna be talking about it, whether it changes the world for the positive or it's like, oh no, we're all gonna die. NASA's gonna discover, so that's it. NASA's gonna dis discover something that's either gonna like change our lives for the better or we're all gonna die. I'm hoping the former, we will see though. Cause again, I'm, I'm terrible at predicting things as well. So, but NASA's gonna do something that we're just, it's gonna be like, did you hear? How could you not have heard? Of course I heard. Oh my God. That's what everyone's, you know, NASA does not very heavily funded. We should give them some more money so that my prediction can be right. Anyway, that's it for today. Oh, oh God, I did legs today and then forgot to stretch. Oh, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, will my predictions be right? Probably not, except the COVID one. I'm pretty strong on that. Uh, but in the comments below, let me know your predictions. I want to know. Let's let's see this. And whoever's the most right about the most things wins. What do we win? Your pride is boosted. Your ego's boosted. That's what you win. But let me know in the comments what you think is really right or really wrong about my predictions and uh, what you guys are predicting for the coming year. I love you guys though. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. I'm still gonna be doing Tuesday, Thursday on this main channel, my vlog channel. I'm going to try and do five days a week. We will see what happens, but I have an editor and things are going on in my life. So I will have content as well. So let's, let's predict that for myself. And then podcasts starting January 10th, all things internet will be uh, co-hosted with my friend Emily instead of my mom and it will be every Monday starting January 10th and then Rachel Uncensored is moving to every other Wednesday so there's gonna be a lot of content me on YouTube 
Let's hope it doesn't die out, but I will be out there if you would like to indulge in watching me. You're more than welcome to. I love you guys. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. And I will see you next year. Please have a very, very, very safe New Year's. Okay. Bye.